On today's episode, we reveal what we've been working on for months, the very next multi-part series from the Tackle Talk podcast. We unveil the subject, the guests, the reasons why we chose them, and so much more on today's episode of Tackle Talk. Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Dance, and you're listening to Tackle Talk. Welcome to the Tackle Talk Podcast, brought to you by American Legacy Fishing and Outdoors, world-class fishing gear, unmatched personal service. Now, here's your host, Andrew Hayes. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Tackle Talk Podcast. As always, this is made possible by American Legacy Fishing and Outdoors. Selection, customer service, and fast shipping are the three main reasons why so many people have made the switch to American Legacy Fishing and Outdoors. Go to AmericanLegacyFishing.com, take a look around. They have an incredible selection of new gear, an incredible selection of used gear, but they have some really cool things going on that are pretty new as of the past couple weeks. The first is ALF Elite. If you want to be an Elite member for $49.99 a year, you get free shipping on all of your orders, you get 10% back on every order, you get boosts on used gear, exclusive sales, access to the super secret ALF Elite Facebook group with early access to gear and sales and tons more. They also have launched ALF Tungsten, selling tungsten at cost, cheaper than even the sketchiest websites that you can find on the entire internet. They're selling tungsten cheaper. It's premium, no chip tungsten. I have some literally on the desk right here in front of me. I've used it. It's fantastic. It's the exact same or better than you're going to get with the other guys because the dirty little secret is it's all made in the same factories overseas, but they're selling it to you cheaper. At the end of the day, that's what matters. You're getting tungsten, no chip tungsten in the sizes you want with a stamp size on the side cheaper than anywhere else. And why? So that you can spend that money on things that you actually want to buy over at American Legacy Fishing. They understand that tungsten is not exactly the funnest thing in the world to buy. So why not save you money on that so that you can buy that new rod, so that you can buy that new reel or that new bulk spool of line or whatever you need. Save money on the things that you don't really want to spend a ton of money on so that you can spend money on the cool stuff. That's what ALF does for you. And right now, speaking of line, I've been getting a ton of messages. I don't know what's going on, but on Instagram and website and a lot of people asking about fluorocarbon and you know what fluorocarbon do you use I've always been pretty consistent that the two fluorocarbons that I use I will use Seaguar and Visex every once in a while if it's for moving baits or for you know cranking or something like that I'll use uh, Seaguar and Visex I just like that little bit of stretch but for like 80% of what I'm doing I'm throwing Sunline Sniper Sunline Sniper to me is just the perfect blend of like not strength of strong line of it being supple enough that it doesn't really like kink or or come off the spool in a bunch of rolls and that kind of stuff doesn't have a ton of memory it casts super easy and it doesn't at least in luxury fluorocarbon terms break the bank yes it's more expensive than like cigar red label it also won't break on you like every hook set with cigar red label will do but whole different conversation but right now sunline all sunline is 25 percent off at americanlegacyfishing.com if you use code sunline ship all one word sunline ship At checkout, you're going to get 25% off all Sunline line, and you're also going to get free shipping if you spend more than $50. So over $50 to get free shipping no matter what, you get 25% off all Sunline line over at AmericanLegacyFishing.com. And if what you want is not on sale, you're in luck. You can use code TACKLETALK10, TACKLETALK10 at checkout, and you'll save 10% off your entire order. Just ring a loyal Tackle Talk listener. Our gift to you, save you a little bit of money. Again, it's what we're all about here on the show is saving a dime wherever we can. Tackle Talk 10 or Sunline Ship over at AmericanLegacyFishing.com. All right, the first thing we owe you is an update from MLF Heavy Hitters. That was the event that we had last week. In the middle of recording, we were about halfway through the Heavy Hitters event. I told you guys I would update you on this week's episode. Now, I'm pretty giddy about this because on today's show, we're announcing our four-part series. It's coming up in the next couple weeks, and without giving too much away, the timing of the results of Heavy Hitters is pretty cool, and you couldn't ask for anything better. But where we left you, Ott Defo was in first place going into, I think, the final two rounds of the Heavy Hitters event. 
Well, if you remember, the final round has a $100,000 first place prize and $100,000 for Big Bass. So Big Bass went to Alton Jones Jr. with a six pound, four ounce bass to take the Big Bass title for the final round. Again, $100,000 check for one fish is pretty insane. And first place and $100,000 check in a dramatic comeback fashion in the final period stayed with Ott Defo. So he caught two really nice fish in the final round, if I remember right, to take back the lead from Justin Lucas. So as always, we're going to give you your top 10 in reverse order, as we always do. 10th place, Russ Lane. 9th place, Takahiro Mori. 8th place, Zach Burge. 7th, Stephen Browning. 6th, Dustin Connell. 5th place, Alton Jones Jr. 4th place, Fletcher Shryock. 3rd place, Ishman Rowe. 2nd place, Justin Lucas. And 1st place, $100,000, Ott Defoe. So there are your results from the 2022 MLF Heavy Hitters event that was at Lake Palestine in Texas. Next up for MLF, we have Stage 4 at Lake of the Ozarks. That's April 30th through May 5th. And then Bassmaster Elite Series picks back up at Lake Fork on May 19th through 22nd. All right, so next thing we have for you guys, a quick update on the Jigmaster's Micro Buzz. First off, holy, holy moly, right? I think when we launched that micro buzz, my expectations um, apparently might have been a little low. Uh, I, I guess the results that came in and the amount of you that actually responded and ordered micro buzzes was unimaginable, at least on my part. So the amount of you that went over there, bought those, and are now itching to throw them once topwater season comes around just has me jacked, right? There's going to be so many people that are going to be throwing this little redneck Frankenstein rig that I've been throwing for the past couple years. Take that little micro buzz that was specifically designed to take this three inch grub on the back, put that grub of your choice on the back of that on the screw lock that was designed to keep that in place and throw the living crap out of it everywhere. Throw it in creeks, throw it in eddies on the river, throw it in current, throw it in ponds, around weed lines, and welcome to the Buzz Grub gang. It's finally happening. It's going to be so cool to see so many people and pictures from all over the country that have that little thing hanging out of a fish's mouth from coast to coast. It's going to be almost unreal. So you guys are awesome. I am obviously no bona fide lure designer by any means, but when something that has caught me so many fish over the past couple years, it just, to me, seemed like it deserved to be put in the hands of other people versus just me and maybe the few people that have figured it out. So they've started hitting mailboxes. Many of you are or are about to get your micro buzz in the mail. Cody is almost caught up with everybody that ordered over the past couple weeks. Again, I cannot thank you guys enough. The response was definitely overwhelming. For me, I can only imagine for poor Cody as he's making all these, but super cool. So you can go over right now. They're still available. We're going to be pumping these things out. Top water season is right around the corner. Go order your Jigmasters Micro Buzz if you want to kind of try out what we talked about a couple weeks and this sort of buzz grub technique that I've been using over the past couple years over at Jigmasters.com. All right, we are going to get into our big announcement here in just a second. We are actually going to unveil our four-part series, who you're going to be hearing the next couple weeks, why you're going to be hearing them. We'll get to that in just a second, but first, there is no worse feeling than nausea. This happened to me the other night. I was laying floor in our new house. I got up, I guess, because I'd been you know standing there staring at flooring for like eight hours and taking no breaks and installing this thing, and I just stood up and I just wanted to hurl, and instead of going to the medicine cabinet and grabbing something off the shelf, I went and grab my relief band. Relief Band is the number one FDA-cleared anti-nausea wristband that's been clinically proven to quickly relieve and effectively prevent nausea and vomiting associated with motion sickness, anxiety, migraines, hangovers, morning sickness, chemotherapy, and so much more. How it works is Relief Band stimulates a nerve in your wrist that travels to the part of your brain that controls nausea. Then it blocks the signal your brain is sending to your stomach telling you that you're sick. It's like the name says, it's seriously just a band you put on your wrist and it gives you relief from nausea and you can change the intensity on it. So depending on how you're feeling, you can make it stronger or weaker but it's really that simple. It's not rocket science here. The technology was originally developed 20 years ago in hospitals to relieve nausea from patients, but now through Relief Band, it's available to the masses. That's obviously what I like about it. I like that it's 100% drug-free. There's no drowsy, no, no side effects or anything like that. It's all natural. I don't have to take a bunch of motion sickness medicine or something when I'm feeling bad. You can just slap on your Relief Band and boom, you're done. And right now, they've got an exclusive offer just for Tackle Talk listeners. If you go over to ReliefBand.com and use promo code tackle talk all one word you're going to get 25 percent off plus free shipping and a no questions asked 
30-day money-back guarantee. That's the best offer that you're going to find anywhere on the internet on Relief Band. So you can use that promo code Tackle Talk, all one word, over at ReliefBand.com. R-E-L-I-E-F B-A-N-D dot com and use our promo code Tackle Talk for 20% off and free shipping today. All right, drum roll. We have our announcement that I've literally been waiting like months to make this announcement at this point because there's so much that goes into these multi-part series. Now, the last multi-part series that we did was our four-part series called The Bait Breakdown. That series dove in depth into four different types of forage. It was bait fish, crawfish, insects, and reptiles and amphibians, and we broke down how each of those play into a bass's diet. So I searched high and low for, you know, the perfect guests. It was everybody from Shannon Gorman, who we've had on the show before, to talk about bait fish. Then it was new faces like Dr. Zach Loafman, the crawfish guy. You had Dr. Sally Entrican, an aquatic entomologist, and you had Dr. Matt Cross, who was a herpetologist, all who specialize in these species that we spend all day imitating while we're out on the water. So it was a really fun one. If you haven't listened to it, go back and take a look. It's one of those jam-packed, information-heavy type series that you can go and listen to like five times, and you can pick up new information every single time. Now this time, I took a different approach on a topic that I think lately I've found a whole new respect for, and I wanted to have some really unique conversations with the best of the best. And that topic that I wanted to cover was lure design. So we are officially announcing that next week will be episode one of our brand new four-part series called Breaking the Mold. In this series, we will, as obviously the name suggests, talk to four different lure designers who either are currently breaking the mold or have broken the mold in the fishing industry. These are guys that I have a lot of respect for. I've used all of their baits. I really think that these folks have pushed the envelope when it comes to what you see on store shelves or what you see on the market today. So I wanted to break this down by lure type. So the four episodes that you're going to hear are going to be on soft plastic design, they're going to be on jig design, hard bait design, and incorporating scent into lures. Now, the fun part, and the reason that this obviously took months to do, is twofold. One is just getting a hold of these people. I've talked about it before on the show, I have no real connections, no insider information, no little black book of phone numbers to call, I just hustle. And so unfortunately, that takes some time. I try to find you know, somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who can put me in touch with whoever I really want to speak with, and sometimes that can mean the silliest things. It can mean going on the internet and trying to guess somebody's email address, like you know, if their company website is xyz.com, then maybe their first initial and last name at xyzcompany.com, that kind of stuff. It's the silly part of this that you don't see that goes on the back end of trying to get a hold of the people that I have on my list that I want to talk to. And so sometimes it means guessing email addresses. Sometimes it means emailing anybody that I can get a hold of at the company to hopefully put me in touch with someone. Sometimes it's 10 Instagram DMs. Sometimes it's calling the regular helpline from the company and praying that these people don't think I'm a weirdo and take me seriously. But at the end of the day, I made a list of people that I wanted to talk to for these episodes, and then I got to work seeking them out. So let's talk about who you'll be listening to on Breaking the Mold. The very first episode that we're going to do is on soft plastics, and it's going to be with none other than the inventor of the Rage Tail family of lures. That's the Rage Craw, the Rage Menace, the Rage Bug, you name it. It's Big O himself, Mr. Steve Parks. Now, if you fish a lot of soft plastics, you know what Rage Tail is. You've used Rage Craw, you've flipped a Rage Bug, and they're the real deal, right? They are not only deadly baits, but they really paved the way for those aggressive, hard-kicking soft plastics that we all know and love, and they've got the intellectual property and the protection to prove it. So this was a ton of fun because Steve is not just a big personality that everybody loves and he loves to fish. He's the engineer. He's the guy that put it all together and figured it out. The angles, the flanges, the making this flap this degree so that it displaces this much water at this kick rate. Yeah, he's that guy. He's figured it all out. So our first episode is about soft plastic lure design with Mr. Steve Big O Parks, the inventor of Rage Tail. Now, we're going to get into the world of jigs. Now, when you talk about jigs, jigs are kind of tough because there's only so much innovating that I think you can do with a jig, right? There's the head, there's the skirt, there's the hook, and there's the keeper. But to me, when I think of a company that's really paving the way in terms of 
what a jig looks like, the materials, what's on the cutting edge of design, and just, you know, doesn't look like everything else out there on the market, there's one company that comes to mind, and it's Beast Coast Fishing. If you've ever seen Beast Coast jigs, they're sleek, they have a huge line of tungsten jigs, that no-chip tungsten that everybody loves, some really interesting takes on classic jigs, and they're not out of Florida, they're not out of Texas, they're not out of California, they're out of Connecticut. So, (laughs) you know, when you look at something like that and you see these big, large mouths with these, you know, heavy-duty jigs in their mouth, you would think they're down at, like, Lake Fork or somewhere. No, the dude is in Connecticut or in the Northeast. So they are owned and designed by a good guy. His name is Derek Carr. No, not the Raiders quarterback, obviously, the lure designer. So Derek pushes the envelope when it comes to jigs, and I think he's usually on the forefront of what people want in a jig and what the jig market is doing. So I wanted to pick his brain about anything and everything jig design. All right, we will get to the final two guests of Breaking the Mold here in just a second, but first, a very quick message from Dark Horse Tackle. You guys know Dark Horse Tackle, you know the dudes behind Dark Horse Tackle, Jason and Josh, are great dudes that are doing something interesting on the subscription service category for lures. Everybody knows those boxes that are out there, there's some that are lucky, some that are a mystery, some that help you catch monster bass, but they all sort of do the same thing in terms of try and curate a box full of lures that they think you're going to like each and every month. The problem with a lot of them is it's a lot of mass-produced baits, and there's only so many of them out there. You try and cut costs. You're really getting stuff that you just don't want in these boxes. Then comes Dark Horse Tackle. Dark Horse Tackle is a subscription box that's going to give you high-quality, handmade, small-batch, custom lures from right here in the United States. So it's guys that are making stuff here. It's custom painters. If you love paint jobs you're not going to find at Walmart, Dark Horse Tackle is for you. If you like jigs that you're not going to find anywhere else, if you like, you know, introducing yourself to new hard bait makers and, you know, somebody that's making balsa crankbaits or somebody that's making spinner baits in their basement, this is what you get with Dark Horse Tackle. So go over and check out www.darkhorsetackle.com. Click subscribe. You'll see some different options there. If you want to use code TACKLETALK20, TACKLETALK20 at checkout, you're going to save 20% off your first month's box just for listening to the Tackle Talk podcast. So go over and check them out, www.darkhorsetackle.com. All right, we have the very next episode here, and it's going to be on hard baits. So episode number three is going to be in the hard bait category, and it was one of those things where there's a million different ways to go on the hard bait side of the industry. But one guy stands out to me when it comes to hard bait design that actually might be a pro angler, and he may have just won the heavy hitters event at Lake Palestine that we talked about at the top of the episode, and he might just be named Ot Defoe. So yeah, episode three is with the man himself, Mr. Ott Defo. We talk about in this episode, I don't want to give too much of it away, but Ott's not your normal pro angler lure designer. He's not one of those guys that just slaps his name on something and collects a royalty check. Ott is actually a crankbait designer through and through. He's been doing it since he was a kid, and all of this has kind of manifested into this really popular crankbait line through Rapala, the OG Slim and the OG Tiny. So the OG series, or you know, Ott's Garage, which is what it stands for, is a series from Rapala that's a true testament, I think, to Ott's roots of designing crankbaits, and I wanted to hear that from him firsthand. So his roots, designing, everything about crankbaits from, you know, the bill angle to the body taper to weighting it and weighting the hooks. We get into all of it. We go real nerdy into this, and it's a lot of fun to pick his brain. So episode three is with a heck of a tournament angler, and if you don't believe me, just check his trophy case for a Bassmaster Classic trophy. You can take a look at his latest $100,000 check that he's taking to the bank this week. A very intuitive and thoughtful lure designer on the hard bait side, Mr. Ot Defo. And finally, episode four is focused on scent of lures and how important that is to bass fishing. So we went out and we got the guy over at Berkeley, Mr. Mark Sexton, as we dive into the wild world of Max scent. So I'll be honest, I learned a ton from this episode because he kind of turned everything that I thought I knew about scent and how it works and how important it is and what works and what doesn't and conventional wisdom. He kind of flipped that upside down for me. And you know, that's Probably my favorite thing in the world about doing this show in general is constantly learning from people who are like 10,000 times smarter than I'll ever be on a particular topic. So Mark takes us to school a little bit and shows us how important scent is when fishing. There's a ton of research that's gone into it on the design side from Mac Scent and coming up with the ultimate formula for catching bass. 
So there you have it. There are four weeks worth of awesome content that is coming your way. We have everything from one of the biggest names in pro angling on the planet and a heck of a lure designer in Aut Defo. We have the guy that revolutionized the motion of soft plastics in Steve Parks from Rage Tail to a small business in Connecticut that's flipping the jig game on its head in Derek Carr from Beast Coast and a scientific breakdown of scented lures and how to kind of perfect that formula to catch more fish with Mark Sexton from Max and Berkeley. So three to four months worth of research right here and calling and emailing and scheduling and rescheduling and recording and editing all to get the final product that is breaking the mold. So the next multi-part series from the Tackle Talk podcast starts next Tuesday. Same time, same place. I can't wait to share it with you guys. All right, well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I know this is a shorter episode as we get ready for what we're gonna unveil, a very, very information-packed four weeks heading your way with Breaking the Mold. I can't thank you guys enough. I really appreciate everybody that listens. If you can leave us a review on Apple or Spotify, your choice. I think we're up to over like 700 reviews on both of them combined at this point. On Apple, you can actually leave a review and comments on there and actually type. I read every single one of them. It means the world to me. Thank you guys a ton. Go subscribe on Apple. Spotify, iHeart, Amazon, Google, wherever you listen to podcasts, and we will see you back here Tuesday to kick off Breaking the Mold right here on the Tackle Talk podcast. Thank you for listening to the Tackle Talk podcast. Tackle Talk is produced by Andrew Hayes. Copyright 2021. Please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts.